Hello, welcome to Sandy Amy. I hope each one of you are well. Um, for those of you who have been following my um, video recording uh, selection in the past three or four videos, um, you'll know that my cousin Diana has been in Great Britain and uh, <clears throat> I don't mind saying my cousin's now in Israel and I'm missing Diana so much. So Diana, if you're watching this, Shalom Mashlamecha Mekavasha Akol Besedel, which means, for those of you who don't speak Hebrew, or in Hebrew, Ivrit, what I said was, hello, Diana, how are you? I hope everything's okay. And um, I really do, because um, Diana's very close to my heart. I have a very happy childhood memory um, of Diana, who used to stay in our, us as in my immediate family and myself. My mum, dad, brother in my house in Edgeware when I was a child and then when I was a kind of, well, maybe teenager plus, um, then I, Diana used to visit the house in the start, the substantial sized house in Stanmore. And now Diana's visited in my mother's flat in Bushy Heath, so Diana's really known the houses, flat, whatever, that's been involved in my family life, um, almost from my, the start of my life, if not completely from the start of my life. And um, although things were a bit rocky at times um, when I was a child, with my health and my um, circumstances at times, um, Diana has, and I have, uh, the relationship has um, survived and succeeded, especially the time that Diana was in London this time. Um, and I'm very proud to say that Diana said to me that I've grown up. And um, I'm very flattered by that comment. And it's true, I have. I have really grown up. Um, I have been known to, when I go back to, to say to you that I've had some rocky moments at home, and it's the truth. Um, as a very young child, I was not overly hot on my late father. It was only later on in life that I realised what a stunning, special, glorious, in my opinion, a stunning, special and glorious man my, my father was. And I miss my father so much that now I would love my father to be back in the world again of the living. So going on to um, a slightly different subject. I've been up since 1.30 or so this morning. I'd, I fell asleep and woke up about one o'clock, 1.30 in the morning and didn't realize that it wasn't about 8 a.m. I fed my cat. My cat must have loved me at that time. And um, I have a lovely coffee to enjoy. And I've been extremely busy since I've been up at 1.30ish this morning. And I really have got myself organised. So I'm very, very pleased with myself. Uh, there's only one more chore, so to speak, chore that I have to do, and that's to do my eye compress. And uh, that can wait. I can do that a bit later. So I really am proud of myself. And um, on top of it all, I've managed to groom the cat as well. And I did two days' worth of grooming for the cat because... Uh, I didn't groom Oreo yesterday, so today I did double. 
and Oreo's off to the vet today without no, knowing, I don't think. It's, it's, we have a, I have a lovely procedure now that, that the vet practice that one of them, come, two of them actually, are coming today to pick up Oreo in a their own cage. They'll do it all themselves, pick up Oreo, place Oreo in the cage, um, drive to the vet practice in Stanmore, give Oreo Oreo's checkup for, and flea and worming treatments and vaccination and bring Oreo back. And, you know, with my mobility concern, um, I have a problem with getting to the vet. So it's a marvelous service that I've got, really very good. And it's very inexpensive for what one receives, in my opinion. Um, forgive me if I'm incorrect, please, however, it seems to me to be very reasonable to come and pick Oreo up and do all that themselves. Um, it's something like 48, 49 pounds. I don't think that's a lot considering they come and bring the cat, uh, for collect the cat and, and do all the physical work concern it, concerned. And then um, bring Oreo back and I just, Think that it's the best vet practice in the world so that I've certainly had any involvement with anyway. Not that I've had involvement involvement with many. <laughs> what am I going on about? Oh dear. Anyway, so so far since I've been to however many or few vet practices, this is by no comparison, even to compare, is an insult to this practice because there is no competing with this practice, in my opinion. I have to stick to a short vlog as a result of the fact that for some reason, um, if I record anything more than just a short vlog, it doesn't upload. So, from me, Oreo, my cat, and my lovely mug of coffee, we, uh, uh, and I don't mind com saying that I shall on this occasion uh, make a good assumption what Oreo would say if Oreo knew each one of you lovely persons, just to say goodbye and thank you and, um, Please take care of yourself and please take care of one another. And meow and a kiss to you.